Welcome to the Original Game Shorts Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going back up to the Great White North in another quick hitter edition to talk about some more chaos and bedlam that is popping off in Quebec. Uh, Not sure if this is directly related to the uh, Blood Family Mafia Hells Angels war that was kind of a shadow war um, behind the bigger and still ongoing Rizzuto crime family Hells Angels conflict. But uh, 24 gang member Freddie Michelle was gunned down in Laval last week. He is affiliated with the Blood Family Mafia and David Icepick Termel. Um, we've been covering it here at the OG and at our um, our, our online publication, Gangster Report, uh, where looks like the Blood Family Mafia in 2023 went and consolidated all the street gang and drug gangs in Quebec City uh, to push back on the traditional 10% uh, street tax levied by the Hells Angels in Quebec City on all drug gang, uh, drug sales in, in Quebec City. Knowing what was going on with the Hells Angels in Montreal and the Rizzuto crime family, it appears that Termel had a lieutenant that was a cousin of the Rizzutos, and he went and got some type of co-signing or backing. As of last month, it appeared that the war had come to an end between the blood family mafia and the hell's angels, according to the hell's angels, at least. Uh, and according to the hell's angels, at least on Canadian soil, uh, we still know, or we still believe based on our sourcing, uh, and confirmation from the SQ that Marty Robert, the, the head (laughs) biggest biker kingpin in North America right now, all due respect to, uh, uh, Tommy O and uh, Conan the Barbarian Richter, but this guy is a little bit more. Well, he's a, he's on par with with Tommy O, though I guess. Uh, but from the Outlaws, but but right now in terms of Hell's Angel, the the seat of power for North America, Hell's Angels is in Canada right now. It's not in the United States as it has it always been. So um, it appeared that that war had come to an end, but Termel is still on the run in Europe with a half a million dollar. Murder contract on his head put by Robert uh, because of attacks at the end of their conflict with the Hells Angels that he ordered from Europe. Uh, he had been over there since the summer on the run from a, a drug and rac- a drug and gangsterism case that dropped this summer against Blood Family Mafia. Almost every member, if not every member of the Blood Family Mafia, uh, three, four dozen of them uh, are all locked up right now. Uh, the remaining, I think, two, three dozen were locked up. Uh, last month, the end of February, and Termel's on the run. Hells Angels came into uh, Quebec police headquarters and announced that they were done shedding any blood on Canadian soil that doesn't speak for what's going on with Termel. He's still probably a dead man walking. But how that plays with this Freddie Michelle case, we're not sure. 24 gang, formidable, uh, affiliated again with the, with the Blood Family Mafia. This could be something unrelated completely to the blood family mafias ordeal with the hell's angels and the Rizzuto mob or it could be connected could be something that's just you know a freddie michelle 24 gang issue freddie michelle was gunned down behind the wheel of his bmw in a shopping mall in laval and uh you know it, it's emblematic of kind of where a lot of those you know a lot of people are being targeted in laval that's where there's a lot of money uh, it's very affluent. It's, it's one of the, you know, pricier, uh, real estate markets. And right now it's <laughs> awash with bloods and bullets. So we'll, we'll keep, keep an eye on it for you here at Gangs Tour. We'll keep our finger on the pulse up there in the great white North. If you like what you have here, please, if you like what we're, what we give you here, please like subscribe, share, uh, spread the word. We'll, we'll always be here for you. Scott Bernstein, OG pod out.